Hello everyone, Sid here back again with another video. In this video, I am going to discuss about how we can set up Magento in cloud-based server. So right now, I have already opened cloud-based server, right? So if you don't know how to create an account in cloud-based, you can get link in the description area and also you will get 20% discount coupon code. Before jumping this video, I am going to tell you, uh, here you can see we have the launch button just click on the after login something you will get this screen uh, you need to click on the server so here we have options which is a uh, launch now i'm just clicking in the launch launch now and here you can see we had different kind of uh, cms and uh, framework so i don't need any other framework and cms so i i want this one which is the magento and uh, this magento server you can see we can put particular of name like uh, so I won't put here right real uh, programmer we can put like it I don't want to real magento I want to put here like any name you can put depends on the project something right so here name of the managed server I want to put same like a real magento and here we need to select uh, the select the project but I by default I put it like Laravel you can put depends on your requirement so you can see magento 2.4 require at least 4 GB or higher to meet the Magento uh, right configurations which is needed. So most of the packages are uh, so heavy in Magento that's why we need to set up like this version right uh, more than 4 GB something. So here we can see like we have a, the digital ocean server and digital ocean server you can select depends on your requirement right. So as we can see here already selected like a digital ocean so why we need to choose the cloud base also you can see like all five cloud provider are good right so like you can see the price also here the 50 dollar monthly we need to pay if we're going with the uh, digital ocean filter we need to pay similar around the 50 dollar right for the same space Linode also we need to pay which is a uh, 50 dollar right same for the AWS you can see we need to pay $86 per month right so this is a so costly we can say as a compared to any other uh, service provider right so let me go with uh, uh, which is the Google Cloud Computing here you can see the we need to pay around uh, $73 so I'm suggesting you you can go with the digital ocean or Linode uh, because the price is similar quite so I want to select like a digital ocean and depends on your requirement you can select and also here we need to select uh, like a uh, which location you want so right now I'm in India so that's why I'm selecting like a uh, Bangalore location and here we have button which is the launch now so we can click on the launch now and uh, leave it so once you click on so this will take a little bit time so just keep patience uh, after this what we can do also uh, let me show you about the benefit about the cloud ways why i am just telling you uh, here you you will get a lot of features as a compared to any other service provider right so here you can see we have a hosting plan which is a magento hosting here and here you will get uh, a lot of features which is a provided by cloud is the main feature I'm just telling you you don't need to uh, aware about like uh, sometimes we need to set up a lot of configurations which is in AWS at Google Cloud computing like we need to set up everything it's like SSL we need to set up we need to server route 53 and uh, uh, then we need to EC2 instant S3 bucket so multiple things are dependent right so here we need to click on directly uh, so whatever uh, service provider you need like uh, any particular framework you need just click on which particular platform you want to host your website like Google, AWS or Digital Ocean, any other. We have five options, right? So you can select anyone, select your platform like a uh, WordPress, Magento, Laravel, right? So you can select your platform and just need to click on a little bit, click only. So you, after that, you will see something, everything will set up including SSL certificate right and also you can get SSL certificate uh, right uh, SSL uh, as, uh, sorry SSH of course you can get and here you can say if you need any support they will also guide you right so here you can see the major benefit deploy in minute right manage cloud server efficiency uh, 
experience optimized as compared to any other service provider, right? So here you can see the performance also SSD based management to cloud hosting, latest PHP ready services, advanced case Cloudflare optimized stack, right? These are the major benefit we can see like a security SSL certificate freedom 24 into civil support. So security wise also you can see like we ssl we get ssl we get dedicated firewall ip whitelist automated backup these are the major benefit as compared to any other service provider also we have option to host our website in good cloud computing provider in less price because we have the options we don't need to go with the aws so you can select digital ocean because of digital oceans good service provider you can go with them right so the plan also as a cheaper as a compared to anyone we have options we can host right so here you can say 24 into 7 65 days support you will get free ssl saver cdn support free migration automate backup 24 into real monitoring dedicated firewall these are the major benefit about the cloud base right so let me show you we can see also uh, how much time will take for installations uh, here we can see approximately uh, complete something setup will so what we can do i can stop for now and we can resume same services right i'm just pausing this so finally this is done so what we need to do so setup is done so we need to click on the ww and click on the real magento which uh, and whatever you is uh, project name so right uh, my project name is real pro magento so that's why i clicked on the magento and also you can see here applications url okay sss certificates also we have admin url and id and password everything which we have right now right so don't try to copy and paste something my i will delete after some time so so here you can see we have a magento url so let me click on here magento url and here we have id and password so you can see this is the home page basically and admin url is uh, we need to hit here like admin so wait for a minute so here we have id and password is below so let me put my user id and password pa sorry password i need to copy right so i just copy it and let me put here and just click on the submit let me save this so here we, you can see the setup is everything is done magento because right now we are in the landing in the dashboard page and also i uh, also we have uh, like one second the front end page which is the whole, one second the front url basically this is a front url okay this is a front url which we have and second one we have here you can see which is a dashboard right so these are the access also if you need a want to access like a db so just click on the db so you will redirect to on the database and also you can check and here we have a ssl certificate uh, backup and restore also you can deploy via git if you want you, you can also customize it by using if you want to fetch and push something so you can um, get use uh, git also right and domain management if you want you can click on the domain management and you can say, set your primary domain and if you want to add any particular domain you can set directly here right phone job management monitor you can see like an analytics traffic which version we are using con cron job and logs also you can see here so we have the multiple things here which already here yeah? so so like this is the apache configuration so that's why he is showing the apache and in just nginx and php so so here you can get all details related to your project and also if you need any other help from my side please let me know definitely i'll i will create a separate video for you thank you for watching this video